Hi, my name's Dave, and this is the first ever video in the Built From Scratch series. Um, what these videos are all about is I'm about to start building a company from scratch, uh, hopefully uh, achieving some level of success in the future. Um, I thought it would be interesting to record what I do uh, from the very start um, for various reasons. Uh, I think primarily it's kind of for my own benefit. Um, I think uh, if I do make a go of this to any degree it will be fun looking back in the future at the type of thing I was thinking way back now-ish. Uh, and it might be useful for business purposes too to review what I was thinking. Um, I guess that could potentially help you move forwards with things. It's also for viewers, I don't know if I'll ever get any, but just in case I do, um, if anyone was in a sort of similar position to me, uh, wanting to start a business but with very limited resources, um, I guess it could be quite motivational uh, to be able to watch someone going through the same kind of steps, the same sorts of troubles uh, from the start and um, learning from that perhaps, but I think more importantly just being sort of inspired and motivated to carry on yourself. Um, there's a third reason I'm doing this which is that the company I'm hoping to build is going to be uh, based around a website. Um, uh, I think the website will forever be an important part of it, but to start off with, it's going to be the entire company. Um, and I'm gonna need some interesting content for that website, um, and hopefully these videos may prove to be that, or at least part of the content mix, perhaps. Um, so this introductory video um, is going to be fairly brief. I'm just gonna tell you a couple of bits about me and my uh, work experience uh, and what I'm hoping to do with the business. One thing I will say is that an awful lot of videos on YouTube or elsewhere on the web um, that are to do with businesses are mostly uh, centered around how-to videos uh, telling people how to uh, carry out specific tasks to aid with their business development. Um, this is not going to be that, uh, partly because there are just an awful lot of people doing that kind of thing already, so there's no real need to add to it, um, but also because I am literally going to be trying to build this business up as I go. Uh, I therefore have, uh, will have zero spare time, and in fact, even just putting a few minutes aside per day to do this is going to um, be difficult to do when I've got a thousand other business related jobs to get stuck into. Um, so these are just going to be very quick, I'm thinking maybe five to ten uh, minute long videos but I am going to be doing them every day. Uh, they're simply going to be a, a quick log of what I've done um, either that day or perhaps the day before. Um, so if you find your way to this channel, that's great. I hope you watch it a bit, uh, but uh, don't be expecting uh, sort of step-by-step hand-holding how-to videos. This is more a kind of narrative of what happens to me. Uh, and like I said, perhaps with a view to just uh, motivating you to uh, keep going if you're having a go at the same sort of thing. So just to tell you um, a few of the basics uh, about me, um, I'm 40 years old, uh, I live in the UK, and um, I've started up two small businesses in the past. They were both kind of successful in the sense that they earned me a living and they also gave me some useful experience of starting up businesses. Um, but they were both kind of naturally limited in scope. Um, so I ended up selling both of them just for small amounts of money, uh, nothing to get excited about. Uh, but then I moved on to whatever was next at that time. Um, this business, which I'll explain to you the nature of the business in a second, but just for now to point out that it won't be limited in scope. Um, it's the type of thing that in theory could grow to a really substantial size. Um, so this is a first for me, uh, trying something that could actually really work well. Um, 
I don't have any kind of funding for this apart from personal finances um, due to a quirk of our family finances that I won't go into um, I am not sure how much money I've got to pay for this experiment um, I'm, I'm married, I've got a couple of kids and my, me and my wife have decided that uh, we can definitely afford for me to spend about six months on this minimum and then depending on how things work out over the next few months that might actually go up to maybe as much as a couple of years before I would need to go back to having a job. Um, having said that, part of the price that I pay for putting aside an amount of time like that is uh, to not really have any capital um, for buying any kind of business related stuff, uh, assets or otherwise. So in other words, I'm investing in me and my time uh, rather than um, stock or assets. Um, so yes, minimum six months. Um, so the, the basic aim initially is just to build something up to the point where it's paying me a salary replacement kind of amount of money. Um, I've got a rough aim in my head of around 30,000 US dollars per year. Um, and just briefly to note about that, uh, if ever I mention money, I'm going to talk about dollars. Uh, yes, I'm from the UK, but obviously there's a lot more people in America and uh, Aussies and Canadians and everyone else are pretty used to the idea of US dollars too, so that's what I'm going to work in. Around $30,000. I know that's not a large salary, but the point is it's kind of enough that if I were to achieve that, I could probably carry on working on this indefinitely. Um, so that's the first hurdle, and if that's achieved, then really the sky's the limit on where I could go with this afterwards. Um, final point in this section is just going to be to point out that in terms of work experience, I've done various things in the past, but the one thing that is going to be of primary importance, initially at least, to this project is that I have worked in or around search engine optimization for quite some time. Uh, that breaks down into the two businesses that I previously mentioned having set up. Uh, I did my own uh, web design and SEO for those. Um, which worked to uh, a reasonable degree. Um, I also did um, pay-per-click advertising campaigns, which again may be useful in the future. Um, I also spent a little over a year working for a couple of SEO agencies uh, where I learnt, um, well, honed my skills, shall we say, uh, and learnt a few kind of uh, new ways of doing things. So that, I think, will be very useful uh, because, as I'm about to explain, um, the website, to start off with at least, is going to be absolutely uh, the core of this business. So to talk briefly about the business idea, um, it's going to be to do with uh, audio-visual stuff, uh, lighting and LEDs, uh, hence these ridiculous glasses. Um, it's a, almost a kind of arbitrary choice of things to get stuck into, but not quite. Um, it, it begins with um, a sort of big idea that I'm hoping to work to and achieve in the future, uh, which is that I quite like the idea of um, having a business that owns large outdoor screens, um, the type of thing that you see at events or use for advertising. Um, there's not much of a story behind that, apart from the fact that um, one of the previous small businesses that I ran uh, was to do with um, hiring furniture to events and one of the events that I did was a big outdoor cinema. Um, I quite liked the look of the kit, I thought it would be interesting to own and run and maintain and to hire out. Um, so that was the beginning of a minor obsession with that sort of thing. So I'm hoping in the future to get to that point where I own a few of those screens and hire them out. Um, but that sort of thing requires rather a lot of capital. Um, 
trying to to put that uh, quantitatively um, the sort of minimum type of size screen you would want um, for an outdoor cinema event um, if you put it on the back of a trailer uh, you, you'd be looking at sort of I think I'm writing saying about seventy or eighty thousand uh, dollars, and that would be for a fairly basic version of a screen big enough to do that. So, significant capital would be required, and I'm not really interested in trying to borrow it from anywhere, um, just because I've got a young family. Uh, I'm I'm going to try and be fairly risk averse with this, and also because my current skill set lends itself to building this up relatively safely and slowly uh, via the internet. Um, so, what do I need to tell you? Um, so, yeah, the starting point basically um, is going to be a website. Um, I've bought a domain name uh, of Wave to the. Uh, it's almost a random choice of name too. Um, I was just thinking about stuff to do with audio visual things. Uh, the fact that light and sound comes in waves uh, popped into my head. I sat there for a while trying to think of a clever name to do with that um, and got bored when I was thinking of things that you could say to do with waves. Uh, hence Wave to the uh, was in my head when my head kind of stopped working and I decided I'd just run with it. So that's what the company is going to be called, Wave to the. Um, and it's going to start off as just a content platform. So I'm going to be spending the next probably at least half a year or so just writing content for a website. Um, so if you were hoping for something more interesting than that to start off with, I apologise for being boring, but that's just going to be the way that it is. Um, if you're familiar of something called affiliate marketing, um, that's what I'm going to be having a go at to try and do the initial salary replacement. Um, so I'm going to be creating a whole bunch of content, uh, putting links in it to products that I'm referencing um, the links are going to be to other online companies that actually sell those products and they are then going to give me a small percentage uh, of whatever their customers spend, uh, sorry, the customers that I send to them spend uh, by way of saying thanks for the fact that I sent them there in the first place. So that is going to be the start of the company. Um, the hope is that if I get to the point where I've got a good content platform which Google likes and gives visibility to, um, I'm going to be in a good position then to expand into other areas like for example the hire of kit to events. For two reasons, firstly uh, I'll be getting a salary paid and hopefully building up a bit of money to use for buying assets, but also because that content platform itself will then become useful to advertise any kind of service uh, I'm providing or potentially any kind of product that I sell. Um, I'm now going to talk about the steps that I've already taken uh, to set this up because I have been thinking about it for probably a couple of years now um, whilst working full time. Um, <clears throat> so I have been taking a few preparatory steps. Um, this section has the potential to be quite long and extremely boring. Uh, so I'm gonna fire through the things that I've done very quickly uh, and superficially. Um, and also forgive me if I look down a lot because I'm gonna have to remind myself of uh, the notes that I've made. So uh, probably the first thing that I started doing was uh, making notes, any thoughts I had about what I wanted to do or how I wanted to do it, uh, particularly with regards to the <clears throat> SEO and content marketing side of things, I started making a note of. Um, I was also, uh, I've spent the last couple of years doing a job that involved about an hour's commute every day, so I listened to a lot of podcasts. If you are interested and looking for recommendations, I listen to a lot of Niche Pursuits, Authority Hacker, Empire Flippers, <clears throat> some other stuff too, which no doubt I'll mention again in later episodes of this. Um, I set up a little office here in the attic 
Um, uh, as you can see, it's nothing fancy, uh, but I've just got a desk, a computer, uh, and a few other bits and pieces. Um, specifically, I set up this uh, recording environment. Uh, it is, I think, about as basic as a recording environment could be, um, but it involves a camera, if you'd like to know, it's a Canon EOS 70D. Um, it's got an external power supply and a remote control. I've got a Rode microphone, uh, a tripod, a light um, on another tripod, and a pair of external hard drives of half a terabyte each, which I got after I made my first couple of experimental videos and realized that uh, dealing with video files uh, puts you in a size of file that you have probably never seen before in your life uh, if you haven't done this kind of thing before. It is not the same as dealing with uh, Word documents or uh, individual photos. Um, I'm sorry, just to make a specific point there, um, what I was thinking I could do was just to use Google Drive for the handling of these files, uh, but unless you've got some ridiculously fast broadband, that's just not possible. If you're recording uh, five plus gigabyte files, um, general broadband is no good for uh, dealing with that kind of thing. Um, so I've chosen and or set up a whole bunch of um, bits of software or accounts for things um, over the last few weeks, um, which I'll just skip through now as well. Um, so I set up a bunch of social media accounts, uh, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, anything that I thought might be useful in the future. I don't actually have any plans to use that kind of thing anytime soon. And the content I'm going to produce is going to be almost exclusively developed for use just on the website itself. But I thought I may as well get accounts in the correct names now so that I can use them in the future if I want. Um, I've subscribed to Google G Suite. Um, I don't really have any use for it now over and above Google Drive that I do use as document management but I'm aware of the fact that G Suite is meant to be quite a good way of managing um, freelancers when they need access to certain documents in a controlled manner and it's only I think about uh, five dollars a month so I just thought I'd pay for that from the word go. Uh, I've signed up to Trello uh, just to use it as basic project management. Um, <clears throat> a program called Quickfile for accountancy. It's a UK based firm, so I'm not sure how useful it is elsewhere, um, but it gets great reviews. It's free up to a certain amount of usage and the support is excellent. So I'm using Quickfile. I am aware of uh, Zero and. Oh, what's the other big one? I forget. Um, but they are less good if you just want low to medium end um, features for no money. Um, so I'm not using them. Uh, I've got OpenShot video editor and also downloaded Handbrake for compressing uh, these enormous video files. I've signed up to Canva, uh, that's uh, £11, so whatever that is, $14 a month, uh, which is useful for web design stuff. I haven't actually really used it for anything very designy yet, but I, what I have started using it for is just sourcing uh, photos and illustrations to use on the website it's really useful for that because whilst i know there are places out there that you can go for free stock photos uh, they tend to be really quite limited um, and i didn't want to pay separately for um uh, like a premium uh, set of photos when you can do that in canva and get the other things that canva does too uh, I've got Inkscape and Paint.net for messing around with images. Uh, I've started using something called Clockify, which is just a way of tracking your time. Um, that may seem a bit ridiculous when it's just me doing this, but I figured, although I am highly motivated to do this, so I won't be slacking off, I think it can still be quite useful to keep a track of how you're spending your time just to make sure that you're organizing it in a sensible kind of a way and also uh, that's just reminded me something else i've done is 
I've used a product, I can't think what it's called now, I think it's a Chrome extension, um, but I'll get the name of it later, that means you can modify YouTube so it doesn't show most of the stuff that it shows, like the other videos you might want to watch down the right hand side, or the comments, or the other videos that come up when the video you've just finished watching has ended. Uh, no recommendations would be a much quicker way of saying that. I find that really useful because, like I say, whilst I am I am motivated to do this work. I am fairly bad at getting distracted. So I may, uh, I have frequently been watching a video in YouTube for totally legitimate reasons to learn something, uh, but then I've got to the end of it and been distracted for sometimes ages just by watching re uh, relevant or sometimes irrelevant other videos. So I've now turned them off and I've found that has actually been a really good aid to productivity. Um, I've set up Google Analytics and Search Console, uh, which is fairly standard. And the one thing that I've paid for that actually costs quite a lot of money, so this is a fairly premium purchase by my standards, especially since this is not currently earning me a penny, um, is Ahrefs, or Ahrefs as I believe a lot of people call it. Um, it's an SEO, uh, kind of all-in-one SEO tools platform. Um, <clears throat> it's got a great reputation. It, it, I, I get the impression over the last two or three years it's drawn away from two or three of its main competitors and I, I think is now coming to be a bit of a standout uh, product in the field. Um, I certainly like it uh, from what I've seen of it so far. Uh, my usage has been kind of light so far but as the website grows and becomes more complex I'm sure I'll get a lot more use out of it. Um, it is I think it's $99 a month for the light package which I'm on, uh, which really is quite a lot of money compared to anything else I'm spending. But I think it will prove worth it in the end. Okay, final section of this introductory video um, is the steps that I've taken around actually getting the site set up. <clears throat> because as I speak uh, the site is in existence albeit uh, just barely so I'm just going to talk you through what I've done so far. The first thing I've got to say is that the whole thing has actually been delayed by about four weeks. Um, I, I left my job uh, four and a half weeks ago <clears throat> and I've actually spent most of that time setting up a different project which is probably stupid of me. Um, I hope I won't ever have to rely on it. I've now put it to one side. But the idea is that I don't know if this, um, if project A is going to work. And I didn't want to get to the end of this period that I have got um, and find that I had to just go and get a job, uh, which would take, you know, all of my time and therefore seriously get in the way of actually taking this any further. So I took the the short-term risky move for hopefully the long-term um, avoidance of risk of setting up another site um, which is kind of to do with using my SEO experience to um, provide a service directly. The idea being that if I got to the point where we'd kind of run out of money and I needed to go and get a job, hopefully I could use this uh, as a way of earning money at a higher rate than I would if I actually just went to get employment, um, which might mean I could do that maybe half a week and then continue with Wave to the, for the other half of the week. <clears throat> anyway, that is now put aside, so I am now 100% engaged with this project, um, and I've still got, like I said earlier, um, probably something like half a year for definite uh, before I even need to consider looking at alternatives. Um, so, after choosing the name, uh, really the very next decision was the uh, top level domain uh, that the site was going to sit on. This means the <clears throat> choice between .com or .co.uk or .com.au or any of the other things that you can end a domain name with. Um, I don't have the time here to really talk about the SEO implications of it at all, uh, so I'm just going to give a few seconds to it and say that the choice of TLD that you make can and will affect where your site gets seen throughout the world. 
Um, and I was trying to choose between going UK centric, which means it's going to be relatively easy to achieve rankings in the search engine results pages, but you're only doing it to an audience of roughly 60 million people, uh, versus going for a .com or one of the other generic TLDs, which means it's going to, there's going to be a lot more competition, but it means you're aiming at uh, something in the region of 400 million people. And that's just in the English-speaking world. You could also, of course, get people from other countries uh, looking at it too. Um, what I have done in the end is gone for both. Um, I hope this plays out as the correct decision. It's based on the fact that during my research, I came across two examples, namely Big Commerce and Shopify, who both had have sites on a dot com where all of their content has been duplicated on a dot co dot uk a dot fr a dot com dot au and various other uh, geographically targeted tlds um, that does make a lot of sense. I, I, I believe it's not how you're supposed to do it in the eyes of Google, uh, but it certainly makes a lot of sense to me. Um, <clears throat> And these two companies, if you haven't heard of them, are both really large companies and are both uh, in the uh, the online arena. So they definitely have teams of people working for them who know an awful lot about web design and optimization, and they've chosen to do it that way. And it seems to be working for them. Um, I'm talking about this too much already, but suffice it to say, I did a quick bit of research in how they were ranking in various ways, and it seems to be working for them. Let's just leave it at that. So that is what I'm going to do. Um, so the, um, the URLs, uh, the, sorry, the domains that I've got um, are wave to the dot site. That's the generic TLD and wave to the dot co dot UK. And um, I might get a couple more, but really they're the only ones that I'm uh, specifically interested in. Um, so I already had Bluehost hosting. Um, I'm aware of the fact that that means I've essentially fallen for um, some kind of uh, slightly over-the-top affiliate marketing, marketing uh, not supported by a particularly good product, but that's just the way it is. I don't mind too much. Uh, I don't really have a big problem with Bluehost. It seems to do okay. Um, I think that it's probably not going to be great uh, if I try and host a bunch of videos on the site or start getting loads of people visiting, uh, but I'll just deal with that if and when it becomes a problem. Um, I'm using WordPress as my content management system, as an awful lot of people do. Um, that's because I've got a little bit of experience with it and also because... I just I do quite like it. I see why it's popular. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I should have got a drink. Um, speaking of which, I'll leave it at that. I won't delve into it. Uh, I'm using WordPress. Simple as that. <coughs> uh, Theme-wise, I'm using Generate Press. Um, I like the way it looks, it gets great speed reports uh, and the support people are excellent. I've had to use them a couple of times so far and they've been great. Uh, Generate Press is a theme uh, that comes with a whole bunch of site layouts so you can choose how you want the theme to look. Um, it's recommended, well the reason why I chose it, why I heard of it, is because it's recommended by Spencer Hawes at Niche Pursuits and also Mark and Gaylor Authority Hacker, um, both of which are um, podcasts, well websites and podcasts and people who um, work in the areas of um, search engine optimization and specifically affiliate marketing uh, and they they both have great podcasts that i like listening to so they recommended generate press uh, and i went with it and i don't regret that it seems to be working out well so far and then just about the last thing to tell you here is that i use people per hour uh, to get a logo um Asked a couple of people to make me a logo. Uh, one woman was charging 20 quid. There was a guy charging 30 quid. Uh, the guy didn't read the brief at all. Uh, gave me a load of rubbish. Uh, and then some sob story about why I shouldn't uh, give him a bad 
review. Uh, the woman, on the other hand, took 20 quid. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, supposed to be saying dollars. Uh, 25 bucks. Uh, and did, did uh, listened exactly to the brief and gave me something back that I will be happy with uh, for quite a while, I think, until I've got the kind of money where you can buy some uh, top-notch stuff for your website. So that's it. That is the intro. Um, I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon, uh, which is just the next couple of hours, um, doing a few bits and pieces on the website to uh, actually get it set up um, and tomorrow I may actually get round to doing the first bit of keyword research and basic content creation uh, but we'll see and these updates are going to be getting done now um, just so sort of five to ten minutes at a time uh, every day Monday to Friday that is from now until the business either uh, ceases to exist or makes me a million gazillionaire Okay, see you later.